What's going on everybody? Today, I'm gonna to be talking about Animate, the new plugin for mastering the mix. I'm gonna take two minutes up front, to show you guys what Animate does and how it works. We're gonna go real quick through the GUI, and then I'm gonna show you guys three cool ways you could use it to improve your mix down. All right, let's get into it. So what is Animate? Animate helps you inject life right where you need it in the track with precision and versatility in a very colorful way. With four different movement modes, each with individual frequency assignment and mid-side functionality, it's easy with Animate to make your music jump out of your speakers the way that you want. The four modules are Expand, which allows you to dial in some clean upward expansion. Punch, which enhances the transients. Ignite, allows you to dial in some rich harmonic distortion. And Grow, lets you increase the width of selected frequencies. We're gonna take a look at three of these different movement modes today and how they'll help you in the mix. But just before we get going, I'd like to invite you to join the community by hitting the subscribe and activate notifications. That way you won't miss a beat and you'll get the heads up on all the things as soon as we post them. Let's quickly talk about the main controls so we know what we're looking at. So the filter allows you to isolate what frequencies are being processed. The filters have a 24 dB octave slope and mastering the mix says they're combined with an innovative solution for minimizing phase distortion. You can set individual filters for each mode. As usual, the threshold sets the level at which the effect starts reacting to the audio. With the threshold very low, the effect reacts to both the loudest and the quietest parts of the sound. Amount sets the gain range of the selected mode. The higher the percentage, the more intense the effect. A shortcut key is option plus click, and this will jump straight to 100%. This is often the best starting point. We've got mid, side, and right and left control, and our input and output section. The output slider affects Animate's gain structure globally and is not mode specific. One cool thing I like about Animate is the output slider has a clickable pointer to help you adjust the output gain to match your original loudness. This way you can see if you like what you're doing rather than just the volume you're adding. We got these cool little speakers on the side and these guys will glow brighter the greater the effect. You could turn that off in the settings if you'd like. And right here, you could switch between the four different movement modes. Now that we know what we're looking at, let me show you how we might be able to take advantage of these. So before we jump into how anime can help, let's take a look at our sketch. I've got some drums, a super sauce stack, an arp, and a sub. So we're gonna be looking at the drums, specifically the snare, and some of the individual elements in the super sauce stack and seeing how anime can help us really dial them in. Let's check this out. So let's start with punch. To me, my original snare just wasn't really making it. In this situation, the snare's got a lot of side information. So I'll go ahead and turn off animate so we could hear what it sounded like originally, and I'll solo my snare. As you could hear, it's got a lot of side information, and I feel like that's preventing it from really punching through the mix. So let's go ahead and use punch to help, all right? Let's go ahead and open up Animate, and let's talk about how punch can come to the rescue. So first off, I am gonna go into the mid-side mode and really focus in on the mids. But how can punch help specifically? Punch mode enhances the transients of your audio to help them bite through the mix. Increase the amount slider to enhance the transients of the audio signal that surpass the threshold. The punch controls are found right here. Sensitivity uses different gain envelopes to determine the transients. A low sensitivity will allow more transients through, where a high sensitivity only allows the highest transients through. Our attack and release are pretty obvious. The attack is the amount of time it takes punch to react to the incoming signal, and the release is the amount of time it takes punch to return to a non-processing state. As in all the modules, we've got our headphones for soloing and our speaker X to bypass the punch section. So let's go ahead and dial this in together. So the first thing I did was go ahead and hit the default. So let's go ahead and do that. After that, I did go into mid mode because I did want to accent those mid frequencies. Next thing I did was take my threshold all the way down so I'm getting both the high and low parts of the sound. I went and hit option click on the amount to start me off at 100%. And then I went and dialed in my filter. So let's go ahead and find that spot.
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my output so I don't get any more volume. Now let's go ahead and hear what we've done. We're gonna notice that there's much more mid focus. It's less wide and we've accented and we've gone ahead and transient boosted the frequencies within this range. Let's go ahead and AB this and hear what we think. Much more focused end, I'm noticing a lot more of the frequencies that we selected. Let's hear the snare in the mix. A lot more controlled, a lot more focused, a lot more of what I want. Let's move on to the next one. So next up, we're gonna use Ignite to help us out on part of our super saw. We've got our mid bass, which sits right above the sub. We're gonna use Ignite to dial in some rich harmonic distortion. And this happens in a dynamic way with Animate, meaning it only distorts the audio signal that surpasses the threshold. The controls for Ignite are very similar to the ones in Punch. There is no sensitivity, but the attack and the release act the same. Let's take a listen to what this sounds like with and without it, and then we'll dial it in together. So on this one, you guys could see that I went down and I used the bass bite preset. And then I simply dialed in the filter and the amount to my taste. To me, this was not only very noticeable, but actually quite amazing. That mid bass went from getting lost in the whole super saw to actually filling in the appropriate gap and kind of standing out in just the right way. Next up, we're gonna use Grow to help blend our piano and saw layers together. So here I have a piano layer and it's a bit mono and not really blending with the super saw layer under it. So I'm gonna use Grow to help me set the amount of stereo widening I wanna use in a dynamic way. And if you remember, in a dynamic way, way means, in this case, we'll be widening only the audio signal that surpasses the threshold. Again, the controls are very similar. You have your attack and release acting the same as they will in every one of these modules. But here we have width, and this is what I'm guessing to be sort of like a Haas effect. So you're gonna set your width in milliseconds to set how wide you want your signal to sound. Let's see what this sounds like with and without grow, and then we'll dial it in together. So that made a pretty big difference. Let's see how we got there. So I went down and just defaulted the preset. So we start from the beginning. And then as usual, I went over and I turned my threshold down so I'm getting all of the sound. I did my option click or alt click on a PC to get my 100% amount right away. And then I dialed in my filter with an amount. For me, Grow really solved the problem here. We went and found the exact frequencies that we wanted to accent out of the piano, and we placed it spatially where we wanted it. This really helped it blend and stand out next to that super saw chord, which is exactly what I wanted. Well, that about wraps it up for Animate, guys. I hope you found that useful and you learned something. If you did like Animate and you wanted to pick it up and explore it on your own, swing through the Warp Academy site, where we not only have Animate, but many other music production tools. I'll leave a link down in the description. Other than that, I'll catch you guys real soon. See ya.